Hey guys, Ray Jam. So I'm heading out soon, but I want to do a quick story before I head out. So it's 21 days till Halloween. So this story comes from the Furry Phantom Ship on North Umberland Strait, Prince Edward Island. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I love ship stories, so that's why I'm doing this one. You've just spent a perfectly wonderful day on one of the Prince Edward Island sun-drenched beaches just along the North Umberland Strat. You're picking up the picnic basket when you see it a large ship. Sails blowing. It appears out of nowhere and seems to be sailing dangerously close to the shore. You stare in amazement as you realize it's on fire. Then as you quickly as it appeared, it's gone. If this happened to you, you would join the ranks of hundreds, maybe even thousands of others who have spotted a mysterious three mastered sconers sailing the waters of the southern shores of PEI. Your sightings would be a bit unusual because most appearances appear in the autumn, not in the summer, and often just before a stormy northwest wind blows in, not at the end of a warm sunny day. But ever since since 1780s, the phantom ship has sailed into view in the spring, summer, winter, and fall in good and bad weather alike. At times, the, the schooner has even sailed right into the Charlottetown Harbor in clear view of scores of people working on the docks. Once, about a hundred years ago, several dock hands jumped into a Gidney and furiously rowed out to rescue the sailors. They could see frightening fires on deck, but just as they were about to reach the burning sconer, it was swallowed up in a murky mist. When the mist cleared just minutes later, no trace of the shipboard's crew can be found. It's easy enough to write off one person's story of the ship as the work of an overactive imagination, but reports from groups of witnesses such as those would be rescuers in the harbor are much harder to ignore. Fifty years later, a carload of teenagers spotted the ship in Victoria Harbor. They saw the crew moving around on deck and climbing up and down the rigging. They also saw the fires burning, but they watched long enough to note that the flames never consumed the ship. And in the early 1960s, people on a crowded beach were amazed when the burning sconer appeared late one afternoon. No one story, a pirate ship sunk off the coast, a vessel loaded with immigrants lost in a storm, a ship laid down with lumber that, that disappeared without a trace satisfies people's efforts to explain the presence of the ship in the area. But together with the, the early sounds of cannon fire or sea guns, but together with the early sounds of cannon fire or sea guns that are often heard in the distance, the appearance of the phantom ship in the Northumberland Strat can still send shivers up spines of many islanders. So, I hope that makes sense to you guys by Pat Hannock, by Pat Hancock, Haunted Canada. So again, it's a short story because I have to head out soon, but I wanted to get one up for today. As it's 21 days till Halloween, and I'm going to be doing a story every single day until Halloween. So let me know where you guys are from so I could find a story in your town. And once again... 21 days till Halloween. Here on Phantom Stories. Halloween. Ghost Story Countdown. 21 days.